um, a few oranges, a lemon and lime. I usually just use one orange, but this time I had a multiple variety. I have tangelo, which is this one here. I have blood orange, and I have a local navel orange. Um, I also use orange blossom honey, and lemon and lime. And then for the teas, I like the Tazo teas. And this is the Wild Sweet Orange. I have Passion Fruit. And then I have Lemon Low, which is really good. I have two lots of the Passion Fruit because I tend to use that one the most. I also have Tivana Peach Passion because I like a little peach with my tea. Um, and I have one quart of water, just a little saucepan, a pitcher, and I have my iced tea maker, which you don't need to use. You don't need to have that in order to make the tea. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I think so. So I'm going to start with five of these tea bags of peach, two, three, four, five, five peach tea bags, and it's kind of an annoying process, but just get all five, and what I do is tie them together so I know that these are all the peach. Not that it matters, but it's just something I do. Take the little tabs off. And tie these in a knot. So they're not going everywhere. Make sure you get all the paper off. So now that I have all of my teas in little bundles, I take the little tabs off and tie it in the knot. This is the passion fruit. You can use as much as you want of the passion fruit. You know, since they're all herbal teas and they have no caffeine, I, I like a really strong dark tea. So I, I use a lot of tea bags. So this is 12. Um, this is another five. Another five of the orange and then the peach. So then I add the one quart of water to the pan. And then I put it on the stove and I let it heat up for about five, 10 minutes. It's almost boiling. You don't want it to boil. So this step where I have the tea on the stove and the quart of water, this really allows me to bloom the tea. I like to bloom herbal teas for at least 20 minutes and basically just let it sit there when it starts so wanting when it starts to boil just turn it off and i let it sit there for about 20 minutes um it gives me it just kind of blooms the tea wakes it up and releases as much as it's concentrated um you know tea as possible and you know and then the next step is to put it in the tea iced tea maker or you could just add another quart of water to it squeeze your juices and add your up to one cup of honey and you're done. Yeah, let me. While the tea is brewing, I go ahead and juice the oranges and the, your fruit and get that ready to put in the tea once it's completed. Once the juice, the everything's been juiced, go ahead and strain everything into a bowl because I don't like any part, any solids or anything to go into it. After separating the blood orange juice and the lemon juice, everything's kind of pink because of the blood orange. Go ahead and set that aside. We'll put that in after the tea is made and we'll put it in according to taste. Now that the tea has steeped for about 20, 30 minutes, I go ahead and strain the concentrate, which is, come on, let me get it right, which is everything that was brewed. 
into the into the container here. Press down a little bit just to get all the goodness out. And because I like to go ahead and do, I like to go ahead and, you know, my purpose of this is doing this is to have a good strong tea. Press it out gently. You don't want to bust the bag. Now, with my tea maker, and if you don't have a tea maker, you can skip this step. Just do another quart of water and soak that, soak the tea bags again for like another 20 minutes. And then, you know, um, add your honey and all that, add your honey. But I always do this because I just like it to be concentrated, really strong tea. Now I only do this kind of thing with herbal tea. I do not make black tea or anything like that because it has a totally different taste. I added another quart of water to the iced tea maker and it's brewing the tea right now. So when you get done, you should have two quarts of liquid, two quarts of tea. And what this does is just, you know, makes the tea where you can, you know, we get it every last drop of the tea out of it and it makes it really good and strong. That's going to take about another 20 minutes. If you don't have the tea maker, just add another quart of hot water to your pitcher and just let your tea bags sit and soak again, like I was saying earlier, for like another 20 minutes or so, just to make sure you get all that goodness out. And so, um, and that will basically do the same thing the tea maker does, it's just soaking it in hot water again. So go ahead and do that, let it soak for another 20 minutes or so, and then when you're done, you go ahead and just um, get the tea bags and press them through a strainer like this to get all the last good drops of the tea. And then you add your honey. It's been 20 minutes. I've taken the tea bags out. Now I'm draining or straining them, pressing them through the pressing them through the strainer. And the color should be almost pretty clear. Oh, almost. Let me see. Now that the tea has been strained, I go ahead and add my one cup of honey. This is collapsible. I love this. Okay, one cup of honey. Orange blossom honey is best and your tea should still be hot your you know your one quart your two quarts of water should be hot um it, it needs to be hot enough to dissolve and thoroughly mix this honey into it all right let's put a cup Give it a good taste and see how we are here. Hmm, it's pretty good. Good hot tea. I'm gonna go ahead and add all of the orange juice in my mixture. Rinse this out. Give it another taste. It's giving me that fruity hit. I'm gonna add just a little bit of the lemon juice. This is far too much lemon juice, so it'll be too, too tangy. I think that's good. Give it another 
little taste. Let's see if it gets been. Mmm, that's really good. And there you have it. That is tea. This gives me a little bit more than two quarts of tea because we added the cup, the honey, and the juices that we added. This will last us for a week. And so to me, a cup of honey is a lot. And we dilute it with ice. But um, this is what we drink most of the when we don't want to drink water. <laughs>